Good evening, Cougars. Welcome to Poetry Time. And Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo, guys! So, in honor of Cinco de Mayo, I found a poem called Cinco de Mayo, written by Luis J. Rodriguez. So, let's see if I can get through it without making a boo-boo. We'll see. Of course, allergies in my nose there, I think. All right, so, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo celebrates a burning people, those whose land is starved of blood, civilizations which are no longer holders of the night. We reconquer with our feet, with our tongues, that dangerous language saying more of this world than the volumes of textured and controlled words on a page. We are the gentle rage. Our hands hold the stream of the earth, the flowers of dead cities, the green of butterfly wings. Cinco de Mayo is about the barefoot, the untooled, the warriors of want who took on the greatest army Europe ever mustered and won. I once saw a Mexican man stretched across an upturned sidewalk near Chicago's 18th and Bishop on 1 5th of May Day. He brought up a near empty bottle to the withering sky and yelled out to Grito with the words, Que viva Cinco de Mayo. And I knew then what it meant, what it meant for barefoot Zapoteca indigenas in the Battle of Puebla and what it meant for me there on the 18th street among those ancianos. The moon-faced children and futurist youth dodging the gunfire and careening battered cars. And it brought me to that war that never ends. The war Cinco de Mayo was a battle of, that I keep fighting, that we keep bleeding for, that war against the servitude that a compa on 18th street knew all about as he crawled inside a bottle of the meanest Mexican spirits. So, that is what Cinco de Mayo means to Luis J. Rodriguez. But what does Cinco de Mayo mean to you? Is it more than history? Is it more than a day on the calendar? Does your family tell stories? of your ancestors and where they were on Cinco de Mayo. This makes you wonder, I'm curious. Leave a comment about the poem or my questions. Have a great day. Bye, Cougars. <laughs>